Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with Emulation Setup and this one is the Saturn MU. It's by Robert Relega. He's done some really good emulators. I have done some setups of them, so have a look. Very simple. Uh, this is pretty new, only come out February 24. Right, so let's once you've downloaded it, let's open it up. The first thing you're going to need before you do anything, you're going to need BIOS. You're going to need the Japanese one and the European. So I put them in a folder, as you can see, they're on my main storage. So get a file manager. Make a folder, Saturn, put your BIOSes in there and your games. These are the ones you need. Quick Google search, easy to find. So go back to the emulator. So we're going to go to options. We're going to go to file paths, Jap BIOS. Click on that. Select file. Click at the top, you see the arrows. Browse folder, the dots here at the top, find your folder there, Saturn, BIOS, allow access, I'm going to click on this one, as you can see it's there now, it's appearing, then we're going to go to the Euro one, same again, I'm going to click allow access, right, so, so far we're good to go, I'm going to click back, just going to go to video, image interpolation, turn that off, now I've got a Bluetooth controller, if you've not got a Bluetooth controller, you don't just leave it as it is. But I'm going to set my controller up. I'm going to go back. Key gamepad input setup. Whatever controller you're using, it Bluetooth will always appear at the bottom. As you can see, mine is here. The 8 bit three. Click on that. Gamepad. Just put in your buttons. It will be pretty set up but I just I always double check with these I'm going to go back and we're going to go to in emulation actions click on that Open menu, I'm going to use the left analog phone button. Open content, I'm going to use my right analog phone. I'm going to go back, back again, back again. On screen input setup. Now, as you can see at the top, use virtual gamepad. Like I say, if you've not got a Bluetooth controller, leave this on. But I'm going to turn that off. I'm also going to turn open menu. To off because it has an icon at the top of the screen and fast forward same again so it just keeps your screen clear when you're playing again right now we're good to go so open content arrow again at the top folder find your folder that's there it is like I say make a folder it's easier we'll have access now we have our games. Let's try a bit of I haven't got Sega Rally on here. Try a bit of let's have a look. A bit of data on her.
Please select a race course. Please select a race course. Beginner. Please choose manual or automatic transmission. Gentlemen, start your engine. I've clicked on the left analog. I'm going to go back, back again. What can we try? Virtual cop. Like I say, if you hit any problems, just put in the comments, I'll get straight back to you. But it's one of these emulators, it's pretty easy. It's just getting your BIOSes to put them in the folder. back i don't know which the reload button was that's basically it just have a quick look at but we'll have a look at virtual fighters 2 Right, let's go back out of that. Right, so I did go back, I paused it, I went back and I put Silver Rally on just to see how this plays. So let's have a look, let's hope that this plays. Like I say, everything I've played so far has played fine. Sega Rally Championship. So far it's looking good, but there's a game going to fail.
right, so just before I go, I just want to show you the difference when you use... Let's go out, I've opened it up. Options. Video. And as you can see, this image interpolation, it's off. So if you look at the screen, that's where it's light when it's off. Go! Pause it, back into the menu, video, I'm going to put that back to its original settings, and as you can see when we go back to the game, as you can see, it does make a difference, it does make the graphics look nice, clean and crisp. Right, so that's basically it, if you do hit any issues, Put it in the comments, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel and give us a like. See you later. Thanks.